Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to do a live update of this thing here. This is my Radio Master TX16S and I'm going to take it from HTX version 2.8 up to the latest as time recording which is 2.10.2. Now I did a video a little while ago where I updated my MT12 radio using the HTX Buddy, which is a great way that kind of steps you through and it's really good if you haven't done a lot of HTX updating on your radio. However, I tend to do on these kind of radios, I tend to use something called the bootloader method. Now, it sounds quite complicated. It's actually not. A lot of it's done via the SD card and the way it works is we're going to remove the SD card plug it into the computer, copy its content somewhere safe, so we've got it for reference. Then we're going to download the SD card contents for the new version, download the sound files for the new version, put those on the SD card. Just going to overwrite everything that's on there already. It's going to be fine. Finally, then we'll download the firmware update that we need for the radio and put that on the SD card in the firmware's directory, and then boot the radio into the bootloader and then flash it as I'm going to show you. It's relatively easy. The instructions are all there. I will put a link down to the web page that goes through everything. So if you're not sure, it hopefully will make a lot more sense. But I thought as I was just about to update this radio, let me record it and show you the process that I go through, which works every time. First thing I would recommend you do is um, follow the instructions. The SD card is here at the bottom of the radio. I would recommend just popping that out, sticking it in your computer and backing it up, putting it all somewhere safe before you go any further. I've already done that in the interest of time and just put it on a folder on the desktop. So we can kind of skip over that bit for now. Once we have done that, which is this top bit here about backing up the SD card contents, we could start the SD card preparation and each of the links are here. So the first thing we need to do is download and extract the HTX SD card contents from our type of radio. And here are the list of different radios. We have the TX16S, which means that we're going to be interested in the C2480 by 272. So I clicked on that link, that's taken us to here. So here are the latest downloads of the assets. And again, if we're not sure which we're looking at, we can always just check what it says. C480 by 272, 480 by 272. So we'll click on that and that will start downloading it. Now we do need the SD card plugged into the computer for this. So let me just grab that out of there while that's downloading and plug it into the computer because we are going to copy files over the top of it. So let me just plug that back into the computer and it's ready. So now that download's done, let's open the download, double click on it. And here are all of the files. So we're going to select them all, press control C. And what I could do, is on the SD card, this is the actual card from the radio, I'm going to press Control V or copy, and it's going to start copying over all the new stuff onto the SD card. That's going to give me all the new files that I need in order to run the latest version of HTX. Now, we might get a warning in a minute that some files are already on here and need to be overwritten. If it asks you, then just say yes, because we want everything to be the latest and greatest version. Now, I'm not going to edit all this. There we go. Replace the files in the destination. This is just overwriting the stuff. It isn't going to overwrite some of the Lua scripts. However, things like Lua scripts and widgets are things that I would still potentially go and find the latest versions of and update. So there we have the latest version, fab. So we've done the SD card preparation. Next bit then is to download the desired sound pack. By default, the SD card doesn't have any sound on it. So we're going to need to load that. I'm going to need um, EN for English. So click on this address here, that's going to take us here. So if we click on the assets, then here we have all the different files. So all the different English versions. Um, so you can see here we've got French, we've got all kinds of different things. So I'm just going to go for EN latest. I'm going to click on that and download that one. Not bothered about all the different files. There are different voices if you really wanted them. So now that's downloaded, let's have a look in the downloads again. Double click on that. 
and we've got the sounds en so what we're going to do let's just go up a level press ctrl c on sounds find the sd card and then press ctrl v and this is going to again copy all of those english things into this sounds area which is basically overwriting all the stuff that was in en and if you have a radio that has lots of different um, languages and things in here that you don't use it's worthwhile getting rid of them just to keep the space up so that's now going to copy across so that is that bit being done so while that is happening the next thing we need to do let's in this, to keep things moving in the video let's go and have a look at the next bit of the instruction so the next bit of the instructions then once we have have our sound pack and again we'll place the files in the destination for the copy lots of those will be overwritten then we're into this next part flashing the edge tx and bootloader and again we have to download something else this is why sometimes using things like the buddy that we talked about originally here at the top if you are new to this it kind of walks you through it and it's a little bit less fraught however if you're just following the instructions here on this page about using the bootloader as long as you keep following it and don't skip anything you'll be fine so we're nearly at the end flashing the htx bootloader and firmware so we need to download the current HTX firmware. We need to go to this address here and we need to unzip the file with the same name as your radio type into the firmware folder of your SD card. So if I click on this link here, it's going to send me to here, HTX Centurion 210.2. Zoom all the way down to we get to the assets and here we have all the different versions. We'll go for HTX firmware. So we'll click on that. That's going to download all the different versions. So we'll wait for that to finish. So let's show that in the folder. Let's double click on the firmware. Here's all the different versions that we've got. Lots and lots and lots. Now we're looking for the radio that we have here. So we're looking for the Radio Master TX16S which looks like that one. So what we're going to do is going to highlight it, press Control C. And then what we'll do is we will go back to our SD card, go into the firmware directory, and then copy that file into the firmware directory. So now what we should have is an updated set of normal files for the SD card. Again, I would recommend just backing it up on your desktop before you start all this shenanigans in case you make a mistake. It's easy to do sometimes. We have the new sounds, which are in the EN directory, which is great. And now hopefully we've also got the firmware here, which is this TX16S. Now, I potentially am gonna get rid of the old one that is just gonna confuse us. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of this one here. Let's just delete it. And then we've just got the one that we want on here. Let me just triple check that that's the right one we're after. There it is, TX16S, and we want 1DE0600. And if we get rid of that, oh, 1DE0600. So that is fab. That is the SD card all set. What I would do here is at this point, eject that from the computer and then that way all the files are closed and it's safe now we're almost there so now we have everything what we're going to do is we are going to plug the sd card back into the radio we might get the odd weird thing happening because the sd card contents are now from a different version a later version than's actually on here so what we'll do is we will press and hold the button let it power up. Welcome to HTX. We've got a slightly different sound this time, which is good. Now we need to do the firmware update. So what we're going to do is we are going to fire up the radio in bootloader mode. So to do that, what we're going to do is press and hold the T1 and T4 trims into center, pushing them in and power it up. And now we have the option 
to write firmware on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to say yes. We're going to select the file that we've just put in the firmware directory. And it says press and hold enter to flash. And we're going to press and hold enter. And now it's going to write the firmware. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Just make sure that the battery is fully charged before you start this. Again, the only other thing that I potentially would do after I've done this is just have a look for your Lua scripts or maybe the ones for Betaflight, Yapu that I use for things like RD Pilot, the iNav Lua script. It might be an opportunity to update all of those if you're going to do this while you're playing about with the radio and then everything is the latest and greatest version. So we're almost there. Coming to the very end. Writing completed, return to exit. So we'll just put exit, select exit, and it's now gonna boot into the normal stuff. Welcome to HTX. So there we have it. So now if we go into system, we go into there, we can now see we're running Centurion, so we're up to date. We have all the options that we need and we have all of our models. So if we go into model select, we can see that they're all in here. So that's how you do it. Isn't too tricky, couple of things have changed. The only thing I would do now is have a play and update all the Lua scripts if you have, just make sure that everything works, but it isn't too tricky so long as you follow the instructions. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.